My guess is it's one of the most dangerous races that ever took place. I would, uh, I would agree with you, and so did a great many people in Mexico itself. Plus, you know, worldwide, have they had very much the same feeling that you just can't run a race like that on open roads through towns, through population centers, which they did. And uh, the fact is, there are very few places in the world you could have run this except in Mexico. Perhaps some countries in Africa would be about the only other place you could have run a race like this. At the time that the races were run, it was still a reasonably unsophisticated country as far as transportation went. When they opened the uh, Pan American Highway in 1949 for the first time, they had a north to south connection that had never existed in that country previous to that time. And it people didn't really know how to deal with that. There were people in the first couple of races that had never seen cars before. They'd never seen, let alone one racing by them. And they were very, very much enthralled by this entire thing. Although they never had the support of the Mexican press, they were always very negative about this race. They called it the race of death. But the politicians were behind it, and the locals were behind it. And believe me, the, the citizenry loved it. They thought it was the best thing going and they would have done anything to keep it going. If somebody had come by and said, do you want to run the race through your town? They'd say, you know, bring it on, bring it on, make it happen.